Hey guys, so this per these uh, this family was brought to my attention by a person here on Instagram. Um, they wanted me to look at them, say, oh, they're exploiting their kids for on YouTube and this and that. But I've looked at their YouTube, as you can clearly tell. Um, I've looked through pretty much all their posts on here, and I don't see much of an issue. It's not like an exploitation of children or, you know, kids like Daddy of Five where they were using their kids simply to get views like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this to this kid. You know, make them fucking cry and then and, and, and get views from it. No, this seems to be a family documenting their travel because they live in an RV, which really that, the only problem I have with this family is they're uh, really not allowing real interactions for their kids. The oldest one, I think, is 14. She has no... I mean, I don't know these people, obviously. But I would assume she has no real friends to speak of, apart from friends. Like, they, they just started traveling like, like this in 2020, 2021. So, obviously, where they lived, she has friends. But here, she's on the road. They're on the road. They make friends in all these new places, but then they're really not going to see them ever again. They'll go to a place for like a week or so, meet some people, and then it's like, well, talk to you on Instagram or Facebook or something, I guess. Uh, these kids are kind of being denied meaningful interactions with people. And from the time you're born to well into uh, teenage years, you need that interaction with people. Um, so if that's of anything that would be my only gripe is that they're not really allowed to form real interactions and, and per, uh, relationships with people <clears throat> because they're nowhere long enough but i've seen the videos on here you know it's just them documenting their life a day in the life of this one or this one or a tour of the rv um i mean i'm actually kind of jealous of these kids you know, I used to, well, my family used to travel a lot. We, I saw a lot of the country when I was a kid. And, uh, but these, these kids are seeing more of the country in a month than most of us are going to see in our lifetime. You know, and I, the, like I said, the 14 year old would be more the, the one to point out because this is the time where she wants to be with friends and do her own thing, but she's very artsy and very stuff like that. Uh, so I'm sure she uh, loves the whole traveling and seeing different things and going to these artsy cities, you know, I'm sure Austin, uh, New York, uh, Los Angeles, all these places where, you know, you see celebrities or, you know, very artsy people. Um, but like I said, I looked through and I just, apart from the interactions that they're losing out on with, you know, meaningful, you know, meaningful relationships with people they meet, I don't see an issue. You know, if they have the money to fucking travel around like this, more power to them. Uh, they do homeschool their kids, which, I mean, mo I think people are still doing fucking, like, online stuff. But as long as they're being raised properly... They're being taught what they're needing to be taught to survive in the world because obviously they're not going to want to do this the rest of their lives. Once they turn 18, they're going to want to go out and do their own thing. So as long as these this family, the, these parents are raising them with good moral values, work ethic, knowing that life is not going to be easy and they should know this by traveling around in an RV and having to kind of salvage for things, for firewood, for this, for that, know that the world is not going to be kind to them sometimes and to not just expect it to be a safe space um as long as these parents are treating these kids right i don't see a problem with this you know some families just don't like staying in one house for you know uh from what it seems they seem to be good loving parents who enjoy the outdoors who bring these kids to see things that are worth seeing and 
you know, like this one, she, so the daughter wanted a rat as a pet. So they're sitting there and she's giving this whole, you know, presentation on why she deserves a rat and how it benefits the family and this and that. And these, the parents are actually taking notes and kind of like weighing the pros and cons of this, this the girl having a rat. So they, like I said, I, I don't see an issue with this. Um, I mean, I'm sure the person was thinking like, oh yeah, this is child abuse. It's not. Like I said, Daddy5, that is fucking child abuse. Any other channel on that who pranks their children, uses their children as the butt of jokes, that is abuse. A family traveling around in an RV, getting to fucking see the world, that... Uh, I really don't consider that much abuse. Like I said, the only issue is the uh, social aspect is that they're making friends in these places. Do they get to see them again? I don't know, but I assume, I, I mean, I know some families will visit a place for like a week and, you know, they'll kind of make that their hub, you know, so no matter where they travel, they'll always come back to that one place. So I don't know if they're going to see them again. But the social interaction, especially for a fourteen-year-old, um, I just I don't see an issue. I don't. I wish I could do this. I wish I had the fucking money to travel around like this. Granted, I'm thirty-four years old, and you know I don't have to worry about homeschooling or social interactions or anything like that. But I wish I could do what they do. I wish I could just travel around and go places and meet people, and... but here I am, just some fat loser on the internet who makes fucking videos talking about how he wish he can do what these people are doing. So to the person who recommended, you know, thanks for the recommendation for me to look at them, but I see no exploitation here, even on their their video on on Facebook, uh, YouTube. I'm not seeing exploitation. Exploitation is, like I said, what Daddy5 does, or any of those other family channels that prank their kids and use their kids as uh, clickbait. Th this family doesn't seem to be doing that. So, thanks for the recommendation. I, I just see no exploitation here. It seems like a family who enjoys the outdoors, who are traveling around in an RV, getting to see new things, meeting new people, uh, experiencing life because like I said they're you know they're in an RV but they still have to collect firewood and you know survive off the land at some point so these kids are learning that life is not going to be fucking easy for them at times unlike these fucking coddled little kids now who who seem to think that the world is one giant fucking safe space and if you say the wrong thing they're like oh god I literally have PTSD now these kids are not gonna be those kids they know that life is going to be cruel sometimes. They know that life is going to be hard. So I, I see nothing wrong with this. So, you know, good on them uh, for letting their kids go to all these places, see things that most of us wouldn't have a chance to see. You know, hopefully, you know, they are instilling the, the, the morals and values that should be instilled in them, uh, teaching them the things when, you know, being homeschooled. You know, teaching them the shit that actually will help them, like not this fucking pronoun bullshit. Teaching them math and reading and science and history, all the stuff that actually matters. As long as they're doing that, there's nothing wrong with what they're doing. Absolutely nothing. You know, it, it's really no different than, say, like a military family that may have to fucking move around all the time. You know? You know, there are some people in the military who may stay in a house for only, or not even a house. Sometimes if they know they're not going to be there long enough, they'll put them in like temporary housing. And they may be there for a month and then they're shipped out somewhere else. So it's really no different. Um, but again, thanks for the recommendation. Sorry, I possibly didn't give you the answer you were looking for. If that's indeed what you were looking for, you wanted me to bash this family. But I don't have a problem with them. So, do they have any? No, no other channel. Uh, when did they start? Let's see. Uh, oldest four years ago is their first video. Our 
per state, and then another state on the map. Yeah, there's, I'm looking through, there's no clickbait titles, there's no, you know, kids crying because their parents decided to fucking prank them, there's... You know, most of them are shorts, which means they're not trying to make the money out of this, they're not, or, I mean, I shouldn't say that, because, I mean, they gotta pay gas for that thing somehow. But, they're all shorts. They're all shorts. You know, if it was exploitation or, you know, something like that, it'd be like, okay, guys, today, you know, and then the video is going to be like 20 fucking minutes long and we have a clickbaity title. But no, these are just kids living in an RV. Now, some of us might not find that glamorous, but it, it, I saw the tour of the RV. It's a nice fucking RV. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, this, this place looks better than most homes. So... I I don't see an issue with them living in this RV. It's a nice fucking RV. Um, I mean, maybe I missed something, but check them out. They've got face. Uh, they've got the. They've got YouTube. They've got Instagram. Check them out. But to me, it looks like just a loving family who is living in an RV. So, be that, you know, do what you see, uh, do what you see fit with that. Do it as you will. Um, anyways, thanks for the recommendation. Sorry I didn't bash these people. Anyways, you know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.